Batwing Tensei and this is my Merchant Convention update for May 2021. There's a lot happening this month so let's get right into it. On May 7th, 8th and 9th I'll be at Furdu in Surface Paradise. This is my first big convention for the year and it's also interstate for me so I'm really starting this con season with a bang. I'll be at Table 11 with all my new merch and will be doing copy commissions all weekend. My traditional commissions and prints are only available at conventions since shipping them is a pain and commission slots will be limited. Also, if you're attending Furdu and want one of my Kaiju shirts, send your shirt size and badge name to contact at batwingtensei.com and I'll bring one for you. I take very limited stock of my shirts to events so please email me ahead of the convention if you'd like one. On the 22nd and 23rd I'll be at Supernova Melbourne with Mirau. We're exhibiting as Dragon Lasker and we'll have our table number soon. Hopefully. I'm planning on having all today's merch announcements available at Melbourne Nova, but if I'm very organised, they'll be at Verdu first. This includes the Snowfleet pins and Shadow Sorcerer bookmarks I announced last month. I won't be in cosplay at Melbourne Nova while I get used to exhibiting again, but I've got a few costumes in the works that might be ready later this year. In late May, the final Monster Girl Menagerie Halloween post will go live, marking the end of a multi-month project that got way out of hand. I started the first illustration on September 12th, 2020, planning on doing 31 sketches of various Monster Girls to upload daily in October. That quickly escalated, and eight months later, I'm still working on the final pieces. I'm super proud of myself for sticking by the project, and I hope you all enjoy the prints as much as I do. It'll be available as an A5 art book in late May, assuming I get the last three done on time. If there's enough demand, I'll release A5 single prints of the illustrations. Alongside the zine, I'm also releasing sticker versions of my Slime Girl and Mermaid designs. Gelato the Slime Girl is semi-transparent so the glitter hollow shows through her body, and March of the Mermaid is surrounded by water-like holographic. I plan on adding to my Monster Girl merchandise range, so if there's a Monster Girl from the zine you really want to see as chibi merch, be sure to let me know. You can check out all the previews from the zine in my Monster Girl Menagerie Halloween Twitter moment. Also coming this month are two new Pokemon themed products. First up, Wishy Washy Tape. I've been sitting on that pun since Avcom 2019, my artistic turnaround is very long. The tape features gold foil details on shiny Wishy Washy swimming with their friends. They're currently in transit and will be available early next month. Joining them are my Sleepy Forret sticker sheets. I had the idea to draw Forret sleeping like cats a while ago, but like the washi tape, it's taken me a while to actually draw them. The sheets were printed in Melbourne and arrived extremely fast, so they'll be available on Etsy from May 1st. May's exclusive dice bags come in this gorgeous red and gold fabric. I had enough for two bags, and so Etsy customers get first dibs, I won't be taking them to any conventions in May. If you'd like to get your hands on them, they'll go live May 1st and stay up until the end of the month. And that's all the announcements for May. While I'm here, I'd like to introduce my family's new dogs. My parents surprised my brother and I by getting two miniature Dachshund puppies we've named Ollie and Daisy. They're from the same litter, and even though they've only been living with us for a week, they've settled in really well. Marky doesn't even seem to mind them, which is strange because she's got one hell of an attitude. I'm super keen to get back into exhibiting, and if you want to see my event schedule, you can check out my upcoming cons at batwingtensei.com forward slash convention schedule. Take care.